Okay, so we are starting a new lesson. It's going to be lesson 19, and it's going to help us understand how to multi multiply by a fraction. Um, sometimes that may be with us multiplying a whole number by a fraction, and then eventually fraction by a fraction, and then mixed numbers by a fraction. So we'll start off with a warm-up for today. Um, for this scenario, it says write a fraction to represent two friends sharing three pieces of pizza so that they both get the same amount. Um, so we've got three pieces of pizza divided between two friends. And it was write your fraction as a sum of unit fractions. So um, what that means is what would our answer be if we did divide three by two? And so each person would get half of slice one, half of slice two, and half of slice three. Whoops. Sorry about that. And if we add all those up, that gives us that three out of two. So that would be, again, just showing different ways that fractions can be written out. Let's go to our textbook. It's going to be page 391. Again, with the first session for one of these lessons, they are very short. Uh, for this one, we're doing some drawing and shading. Um, so we've got a ruler here, and it's um, for this ruler, we've got the uh, measurement of inches. Uh, again, these hash marks represent different amounts here. So it's basically like we're using the number line. Um, it says shade and label three half-inch sections of the ruler. Then complete the sentence in the multiplication equation that represents the total length you shaded. So first things first. Um, I'm going to draw a line here. It's my starting point, my zero. And we've got, that's one half inch, another half inch, and then we've got that. And it wants us to shade those three parts that we've done. So I'm going to shade that with red. And I'm not going to shade in completely. Okay. Um, and again, each of these is, that's a half inch. That's a half inch, and that's a half inch. So it says three sections of half an inch are, uh, we could say it one of two ways. Uh, we could add these three up and have three halves, or we could write that as a mixed number instead of the improper fraction. We know that's one and a half inches. So down here, our answers would be three halves or one and a half. Again, just to review, um, to take the improper fraction, turn to a mixed number, do this. Um, this is our whole number. And then these numbers are the fraction that's left over. So just remember that. Let's look at number two. This one says shade and label half of a three inch section of the ruler. So we've got zero, I've got three, and it wants a halfway point for this. So half of three is one and a half. So that would be right here. And it wants us to, that's right, one and a half above here, half above there. So it wants to shade and label half of these this section. So I'm just going to, Shade in this one right here and leave the other one unshaded. So half of three inches is um, three halves or one and a half inches. And that could also go in as this. There you go. And let's turn the page. We've got a couple more of these to do. Shade and label the ruler to find the length of one fourth of a half inch. Well, let's have this and then we have our half inch. So we want to shade this into um, four sections, just like that. And let's just shade one fourth of that. So I will shade in this right here. And one half of 
half inch is uh, one eighth of an inch. As you can see right there, that's one eighth. And this, if you look at it, um, very simply put is you multiply your numerators and multiply your denominators to get that one eighth of an inch like that too. All right. And last one, shade and label the ruler to show three fourths of a half an inch. So let's do, first of all, show our half inch. And I've got, so let's shade three fourths of this. So I've got one, two, three. And I know each of these is one eighth. So that's one eighth times three. And that will equal three eighths of an inch, just like that. All right. Um, based on the two problems above, explain how to find two fourths of one half or two fourths times one half. Um, we're just going to discuss it like this. Easy way to do it is you multiply your top numbers, multiply your bottom numbers. Two eighths can also be known as one fourth. So basically, we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. That's the standard way that we've been doing it. So if you can remember that, you should be all set. Again, multiplying fractions is much simpler than adding. There's nothing you've got to change. Uh, just multiply across from each other like that. All right, your homework is M1, multiply unit fractions by whole numbers using number lines. Um, everything's pretty straightforward. It shows the number line, and you just have to pull information from the model. So your answer is right there. And if you have any trouble, let me know.